Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's challenge location. Ooh, very, very nice place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Such beauty. Much wow, indeed. That is what I am seeing here. Uh, I mean, just look at these beautiful, great snowy mountains. It's, my God, what a wonderful place we are in right now. And uh, this sort of it leads you to, to, to think maybe the wrong thing, but uh, to me it's it's rather clear, and I think to, to most of you it was probably uh, it was probably fairly clear what part of the world we're in. Uh, one might think only looking at the big white capped mountains that we must be in Alaska, but indeed I do not believe we are in Alaska for uh, multiple reasons. Um, mainly that being the kind of the climate doesn't seem right at all for this to actually be uh, Alaska. In fact, this seems like a very strange clash of like snowy mountains over here and then like a kind of nice green farmy type area over here. It seems kind of like quite a clash, but to me, these are the uh, Norwegian, sorry, Norwegian, Norwegian fjords uh, around here. Um, we were in Trum, so I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, uh, a little, a little while ago, but I don't actually think we're 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 in a, we're not in a metropolitan area. I'm gonna say we're around the same height as this. Uh, though, uh, and probably just go along the lines of like, you know, probably like right around here somewhere uh, on this. This that seems right to me. That's where I'm going to place my guess. I'm going to place my guess, you know, right along right along in here or, you know, like right right here. Sure. Yeah, let's go. Let's go right down. Let's go right down there. That's where I'm going to place my guess uh, in this area of Norway. Let's go make that guess. And wow, we were a lot more south than I thought. I guess yeah, that explains the climate. Um, you're a lot more south. I guess it was just taken in the winter. We were uh, in Norway. At least I got the country right. Uh, we were in Norway, north of Bergen or Bergen, uh, somewhere like that, right near... Um, my God, I guess Volda, Alessand are places uh, that we've got, uh, Larsnes, we've got, um, Nupen, and we were, like, uh, right there, so very, very cool indeed, we were right near in a place called Nupen on, uh, Gur, Gurskoy Island near Volda, Alasan, Ulstiavik, uh, many other places, Mold, Bergen, where's, uh, Oslo's over here. We were, like, uh, essentially, um, sort of the, the tip of the, the bulb over here. Uh, we, no, I mean, like, right, right at the, 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 the apex, no, not that, whatever the fattest part of the bulb is, 21, uh, 94 points is what I got, so you guys can look down in the comment section below and see which one of you got the closest uh, yesterday when guessing this. Alright, here we are in today's daily challenge. Now you guys might have seen a little bit of what makes this location cool, but I wanted to start you guys facing off uh, this mountain range and you got this road over here. It doesn't seem like it's particularly interesting. And by the way, this isn't going to be the most interesting location, but I came across this while I usually start off my recording sessions or the recording a specific episode by refreshing a whole bunch to get a cool location for the daily challenge. And I came across this one, which is, well, we've got a purple mountain, and, uh, yeah, it kind of just stretches on a big, giant, purple mountain, which looks really, really cool. I mean, sure, this isn't, uh, like a big city. It's probably in the middle of nowhere, to be honest, but just the fact that I came across this, like, I, I have no idea what happened over here, like, uh, these trees are all wacky, and then what's here is just a big field of this 
purple stuff here. So I thought that was very cool looking. So this is the daily challenge. What you guys have to do is guess where we are in the world in the comment section down below. Put your guesses in comments down there. I'm going to check them out by the time the next episode comes out. And in the uh, comment section of that video, I'm going to write down who the winner is, whoever guessed the closest. And also in that video, you guys are going to see me guess where uh, this is in the world. In this episode, I don't actually make a guess. You guys just saw uh, in the previous section me making a guess. Now it's just the time to show off this very cool purple mountain. Nothing else is purple around here. Just this mountain. So where do you guys think we are? Well, hopefully you guys get pretty close. Alright, so here we are in the main section, as I usually say, the meat and potatoes of this episode. This is a daily challenge episode. Let me just start off my timer. I accidentally forgot to do that. My bad. Daily challenge. This one brought to us by Danik Kingsbury. Uh, we have a Kings... Yeah, well, yeah, Kingsbury. Um, sorry, uh, it's just that... Um, I don't know. Anyways, I said Kingsbury, and then I realized, ah, there's, a, there's a G in there. Anyways, that's not really the point. The point of this all is uh, that I am uh, trying to clear out some of the backlogs so this one has been, oh boy, sent in a long time ago now. So uh, I don't know why I'm going back to the beginning. It, the, the whole URL is there, so I don't actually need to uh, do anything about that. Thank you very much, Danik, for this one. Uh, there is, oh, well, I might as well go like this. There is a theme to this challenge, and uh, the theme, I don't know it yet. Um, so that's the thing that they, uh, he said, I, yeah, I guess he said, uh, there's a theme to all of this, so make a, try and figure out what theme it is. It's a secret. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out, apparently. So that's the information we have to go on. You can find the link to this down in the description below. Well, you guys are going to be able to click on this. It's, I'm not, I was going to name it, but then I, you know, I'm not going to read off this. Great. All right, let's go full screen and challenge accepted. Oh, yes sir okay well we are in somewhere and um we have license plates uh flowers of my passion uh we are in oh mm, god i really wish i would be able to figure out what, what exactly that says but we've got um the license plates seem a bit weird. There's like there's a, a lot of red stuff going on over here. DVD, video, Warner Brothers. I mean, I'm guessing. Um, I'm guessing uh, by all of this that we are in France. I mean, that's what really makes the most sense, unless this is a challenge. So we could always be in um, Belgium, which would be interesting, right? Lots of French in. Uh, Lots of French in Belgium, I believe, at least. That's what I've been uh, told. Oh, yeah, that's where, um, that's where, um, isn't, uh, that guy that wrote, uh, um, Tintin? Isn't he, uh, Belgium? I, I believe so. So, yeah, there you go. That's, that seems, that sounds right to me. Um, oh, wow, look at that. It was a good guess, uh, .be. So, yes, that was right. I had a feeling that uh, we would be in Belgium. I don't know, maybe the license plates were a good tip because they seem to kind of be red, which is pretty cool. I, I haven't really seen that. I guess that was my first uh, intuition that something was off. Belgium, I'm assuming, is part of uh, the European Union and must use standard EU plates unless it's kind of a deal kind of like... Um, Kind of like uh, was it Denmark that uh, doesn't exactly, or at least they have. They're sort of, maybe they're being kind of implemented slowly. I forget what what the deal was there, but there you go. Uh, Citibank. Oh, that's a bit surprising. Was wasn't expecting to see that there. Interesting how like uh, like this is an American financial institution, and I mean I guess it just really depends how yeah like you see like these aren't uh, EU plates, but I guess maybe they're either slowly introducing them, they're not mandatory, you know, it, it, why why change why why change uh, necessarily? There's no no real point to get that nice blue stuff. Interesting to see. I mean we're in Can I'm in Canada right now, and we really don't have very many. 
Uh, I guess it's because of the way the banking system is set up here, it's all like all government run banks. You know, there's only a certain number of them. Actually, it's, it's quite a few, but mostly, um, mostly the, the, the banks we see here, except for like HSBC, like not international banks, because we you, there are stuff like that here as well, but. Uh, it, it's mostly like a, like a set of banks that um, that we got here, so you don't often see like uh, those uh, big American financial institutions. I don't know if I call them banks or or what, because I mean I you know don't really uh, spend too much time with them. We're in a place called Waterloo. Uh, that seems to be re oh here it is. I found it. <laughs> Waterloo. Are we just gonna say? I mean, there's no point in in zooming in much more than this. We're probably on the main road. Uh, Waterloo. Uh, and then let's just go like just right right down in the middle. So boom like that make the guess Yeah, I mean that's only gonna cost us about 50 points. We were in indeed on that road itself Very very cool indeed the Belgium thing kind of gave us a big clue very very nice Okay Well, we got a flag um and that is, it seems rather obvious what country we're in, doesn't it? But I hate always, I hate saying what country we're in, uh, Russia. But, you know, because I, I always think, like, is that really the flag? I think it is. And then uh, problems kind of uh, happen. You see, I don't actually think that's, wait, hold on. There was something weird about that Russian flag we just saw. First of all, there's another flag there that I feel might be a little bit more important. What's going on there? What's uh, what's happening to this flag here that it, it looks very strange? Because then in, in this frame, it doesn't appear to have... It appears in this frame to have... Oh, hold on. That's, I see what that is. That's like a, it's one of these. Ah, never mind. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. We're good. Figured it out. What do we got here? We've got... Mm, can't read that. Uh, I could try, but I don't think it's gonna come to it's gonna come to anything um, specifically. Okay, phone numbers, six digits like that, eight digit code over there. Um, okay, uh, this um, it, it starts with a T P um, uh, S. Okay, I'm gonna assume that this probably means. Actually, no, that's like news. Okay, now that's an ad for like a newspaper or something. I want to look at the bus to try and find uh, more about where we are. I feel that this bus could have information such as, uh, like, does it say like transport of, of, of where? It doesn't. It doesn't say there's no, this buses don't don't say the city name on them. That's it's a bit peculiar to me. Um, something TB. Okay, no, that doesn't really that doesn't help. Uh, what if we continue moving on here? Do we see anything on this bus that tells us where it's from? No, we don't. Okay, well, um, that's that doesn't really that's not very useful. Okay, where in where in Russia are we? Well, we were in Belgium before, and that's something. Now we could be we could be over here. Which kind of makes sense, kind of like, uh, I, I don't really know. I honestly have no idea. Russia's always a big crapshoot for me. And unless I, I see something very, very soon that just kind of gives me a, a hint as to where we could be. Like, does this, is this a, a help? I don't really think it is. Um, all right, well, do we just men? No, nothing over here. There's like, a, there's like a sign over here. It seems... Uh, it, it looked like it said something about the city, in fact. It, oh, no, okay, no, that's just like combines and stuff. We I don't actually know anything about that. All right, well, I mean, I, this is kind of a crapshoot. I don't really know where to guess. But because there's apparently a theme, and I don't really know the theme. Um, the theme was, got, yeah, we got Waterloo. Uh, that, I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's a hint. But uh, I'm gonna guess we're over here uh, because because I don't know because it's kind of like here's Russia and then here's a part that speaks the same language but it's kind of different but it's still Russia but it looks like by the flag we're actually in Russia so um this is what I'm gonna guess maybe I don't know I, I'm not really getting the theme yet we're gonna guess uh, sure we're gonna say the capital make the guess and no okay but this might actually help us with the clue. We're in a uh, we're in Volgograd. Okay, all right. I see that. And then 
what do we have around here like what what's this stuff what's this part of the world over here what's what's this that's very interesting looking okay Volgograd and then what do we got we've got um, a museum hmm okay I'm not really picking up on I'm not really picking up on any possible theme with that one interesting interesting all right okay next location next location we are in oh okay somewhere oh Europe plates uh, strange yellow plates all right uh, yellow Europe plates yellow not Europe plates uh, Denmark does this that's one thing I can go on what what kind of writing do we have um, okay that is that appears to be French again except uh, so no parking or whatever, no stopping. I don't really know exactly what this sign would mean, except for GIG and GICs. And what do we got? We got Photo Express, something Photo Express. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit strange. Um, oh, more, more French. All right. Uh, so yeah. Well, this is interesting. Uh, yeah, Place of France, Gallery, Pastries, Pharmacy, Place of France. Okay, yeah, that's good, but, um, but, but what is, what's the deal with the second location? Yeah, 40 years, uh, three. Now, the thing about it is that that's not really cities. You don't use that. You don't use that for cities, but that well, I don't know. It's it's all strange. I, I don't actually know, but that's okay. Let's let's keep on let's keep on moving. What do we got? Oh, well, this is weird. This is like a strange. This looks a lot like the bus stops you see in uh, in Russia. Um, okay, yeah. Can you tell me what where we are in the world? This bus might actually be a good help. Um, Vit Vitalis. What now? What kind of a what kind of a bus is this? Wow, this is a very confusing place, my friends. I don't know where we are. Again, this is bus shelter. It reminds me very much of the ones you see in um in Russia. So we what have we what have we got? Is there anything that anyone can tell us about this place? It's kind of like France. It might even be France. Uh because yeah, it might be France, so that would that, that's interesting. All right, let's keep on moving and to see where we are. All right, what have we got here? Um, yeah, just people hanging out, license plates, yellow, driving school. Uh, yeah, all right, this, this all seems pretty good, but I'm just still a little bit confused as to where we could be. Uh, yeah, cultural center, we've got, like, police, um, phone numbers, 05, I don't know if that's, like, a country code or something, I mean, I'm gonna guess France this time, I, I don't, don't really know if there's, uh, any more that I can do, I haven't seen, like, a flag, or I haven't seen, uh, anything that I can really tell exactly where this is, we could be, I mean, it could be in like a, a French X colony or whatever you call those, you know, like a part of France that's like really far away. There's a lot of those that still, ex that still exist. The three cities, that's what uh, kind of thrown me, uh, I feel like that's a clue, but I don't really know what clue it is. Uh, yeah, essentially, very, very much, uh, very much I have no idea. Well, since I have no idea, why don't I make a guess and say we are in um, in uh, Brittany over here somewhere, right? That's that's where we are. Oh no, Norm. Mm. I, I have no idea. Let's go. Let's go for. Uh, let's go for Ving Rhames right over here. Make the guess. Kind of. Yeah. Pre I mean, that's it's close. Honestly, uh, we're in a place called Poitiers interesting and we've got uh bd yeah concord road all right that's where we are i mean i guess yeah 2741 all right so we got belgium russia france still not getting it still not getting it this one we seem to be in uh new york or is that alaska 
what what state is this again that does that 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 is like this? I don't remember. Gettysburg College. Okay. Get we're we're in America. I know that the license plates. I believe those are like uh, are those like the old New York license plates or something, or are they? Or or what what exactly are those again? Oh boy, I'm I'm kind of forgetting which what uh, wow I shouldn't I should know this you should right away what license plates those were. Uh, those are, I mean maybe they could be, it could be Alaska right? The Alaskan ones are kind of like yeah th those are the Alaskan ones I believe we're in Alaska right now really. It seems a bit weird to me honestly. Really no we can't be that's not right. I mean I remember we were we were there one time that when it was real weird. Uh, it didn't look at all like I expected it to, but I don't think we're, I don't think we're in Alaska, really. I mean, fuck, maybe, but seriously, I don't know. North bicycle path. I'm going to say we're in, what state are we in? This, this state right here that I should know by the look of these license plates, but for whatever reason, it's escaping my mind it's it's not the new New York plates. I don't think it's the old New York plates either. Those were just blue. Those were just white and blue. Those were those are not like that. The yellow and blue ones, I, I do feel like we're in... I, I feel like they are the Alaska ones, aren't they? Yeah? I mean, that seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Doesn't that seem weird to anyone that that's, that that's what, I, what we're seeing here? I mean, I, I would really like to get out of this Gettysburg College to be... I mean, to, to see more of this area... We're in, a, we're in a big place. If we are anywhere, um, okay, what do we got here? Are you gonna show me uh, like a state flag or something? Uh, let's go. Let's go over here. Alaska state flag is um, is uh, not that. Okay, well that's uh, again. I, I don't even really. I can't really read that. What that says, but. Uh, Okay, well, okay, Gettysburg College. Where where did the Gettysburg Address happen in real life? Now, that's that's my question. I don't know. Um, we could be in, what is it, Land of Lincoln. That's Illinois, right? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. In Illinois. Ah, fuck, I don't know. Jeez, I don't know enough about uh, my American history for this. Boy. Uh, that's, I mean, uh, this is like a college thing. This is just something. None of those are state flags, which really sucks. I really wish I would have figured that one out. I mean, I feel like we're in Alaska. I mean, it, honestly, Gettysburg could, it could have anything to do with it, right? It's, it'd be like if we were in, um, I mean, is Gettysburg a city that exists or is it just like a place? I don't even know. It's an address. That's what I know it as. Four score and seven years. Was it seven years ago in the thing? Uh, yeah, four score. No, four score and seven. So that'd be 87 years, which would place us in um, 1770. So we'd be 65. Would that be the year that that would be 1865? Is that when that uh, a speech would have been made? Uh, or am I doing math really wrong? I am doing math really wrong. What's six plus seven? Six plus seven, oh, 63? Because then plus 15 years, oh, fuck. God, I'm, I am, I'm, I'm kind of going, uh, oh, no, six, what did I say 65? No, I said 63. Okay, yeah, but that still doesn't really make any sense. Um, I mean, I could just do the math right now in my head, which would obviously lead me to the correct answer, but for whatever reason... I am not doing that. I'm going to I'm going to call it seven. I'm going to say that it was done in uh yeah, you know what? We're just going to go I I refuse to believe this is Alaska, uh which is probably my own damn fault. So, because of that, I'm going to say Central Illinois, make the guess. We are in Pennsylvania, really? That's what license plates look like in Pennsylvania. Hmm. Interesting. I don't really know how many of, of those I've seen. Huh. Okay, well, at least there you go. Uh, where were we specifically? Gettysburg. Oh, that's where it is. Central Pennsylvania. 
Ah, well, that makes sense, kind of. Uh, you know, very horizontal line from where I was. So yeah, that uh, that answers all sorts of questions. Gettysburg, here's where it is in the world. It's in Pennsylvania. Learned a little bit today. Yeah, well, there you go. And, and again, uh, sorry about my terrible math skills. Um, at least right now when I'm trying to provide commentary and not kind of stop and think about it. You know, I should really be able to do out loud math. So here you go. We're going to do it. What's, um, what's 76 plus... 85 plus 87 all right well 7 plus 6 equals 13 right yes all right so what's 13 plus 150 163 what's 1700 plus 163 1863 yeah good i had solved that a little while ago 2170 points next location okay so um uh, interesting. So, what was the theme then? If that's going to be uh, Saint Leonard's Warrior Square, huh? Okay. Uh, Warrior Square Station. Okay. Well, we got some stuff here. Uh, we're pr probably in the UK actually right now that I think about it. What, what side of the road are people drive? People are parked every which way down down this road. Got this guy. Uh, actually, people seem to only be parked. Um, on this, which is a bit strange, because that would mean that people would be driving, uh, down on the right, which, over here, oh, people are parked still every which way, so, um, that's what, I mean, that's a bit of a strange thing, but that is allowed in, at least in, 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 in London, uh, when I went there, that was, that was a bit of a strange thing, you could park facing whatever direction on the side of the road, which is kind of, just seems a bit strange, but okay, uh, let's check out what side of the road are people, uh, dry I mean, it's, fuck, it's never hard to tell when the cars are just parked randomly strewn on the side of the road, but, um, it looks like, there's a weird triangle here that seems to be pointing the wrong direction, uh, so a car would, god, I, okay, I don't want to be here, let's go return to start location and go down a, a road that seems to make a little bit more sense, sure, this one, still no one knows, maybe this is just a one way, oh wait, hold on, what? Uh, okay, no, that's just a, a license plate that fits differently. Uh, what have we got? We've got really long... F is this a phone number? Oh my god, this can't be a phone number. Jesus. Alright, well, if that's a, that's a phone number, then god, I don't know what the hell's going on, but that, that's one crazy phone number. Old England. Yeah, well, that's where I think we are, kind of. Uh, honestly, maybe not. I mean... Uh, Gettysburg, we could be in Scotland, if I had to think about it, maybe, yeah, Dakota.uk, so yeah, we could be, I mean, the theme is, we've got Belgium, uh, sure, we've got somewhere in Russia, then we've got somewhere in, uh, well, it was like over here, no, it was here, which is, I don't really know the significance of this area, but it feels like, I don't know, this is like Brittany, uh, is this, and then there's like uh, somewhere that, that I, at least I know definitely has some significance importance with, uh, I don't know, actually was it like the inauguration, uh, what, is, what was that, that the Gettysburg Address about, was it about the Civil War, or was it just about, uh, what, what was it about? Was it? I, I honestly don't really know. I all, all I know is the beginning, four score, and I believe it says seven years ago. But um, uh, I don't. Yeah. So everything is very, very confusing. Uh, honestly, there you go. We've got wow. That that's fucking amazing. <laughs> Della's chicken and burgers, and then we've got <laughs> an eagle. Oh, that is fantastic. I love that. <laughs> Pizza chicken hot for you. Oh, this is a fantastic thing. Oh, that's that's great. All right, well we're uh, we're on the water, so at least we got some we got something down. Um, where are we? Let's just make a guess. Let's go. Well, we're, we're zooming to the wrong place in the world now. Let's say we're in I don't know. Let's say we're not in Scotland. Uh, should we go with Scotland or something? Should we go with Scotland? Maybe we should. Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. I don't really know. Um, yeah, let's go with... Just say we're... No, we've got to be on the ocean. Uh, Edinburgh? I mean, it's possible. 
Can, can you see can you see this side from from here? How big is that? I don't really know. It's hard for me to tell. Could we be in like Blackpool? Sure, Blackpool. That sounds about right to me. Make the guess. No, we are all the way down in Hastings. Hmm, weird. What what is the significance of these locations? Well, there you go. Here's something. Uh, Danik, if you're listening, please tell me the theme because it's I, it, I, it's got me it's got me real pickled here. I have no idea what it is. Um. I can only really pick out the significance of an area. Uh, maybe it's a, another thing to have to do with like the letters, like um, B R F A U U U. Uh, nope, that doesn't really have to do. Uh, we've got like city names, so we would have like W V. Nope, that's not that wouldn't make any sense. Um, region names. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, Pennsylvania. Well, that doesn't help me. I mean, don't know, don't know, don't know, Pennsylvania, don't know. So, yeah, that's a real pickle, ain't it? I have no idea. Hopefully you guys do. And please, if you guys figure out a possible link between these locations, maybe something obvious that I've missed. I got 15,841 points. Hopefully uh, you guys, and yes, in the last episode someone said, I need to refresh myself on my American locations. Damn right I do, because I don't even know where Gettysburg is. I mean, I said Illinois, which at least has some link to Abraham Lincoln, I believe, unless you're like, oh, no, it's Indiana, and you're just confusing states that start with I. And then I didn't say, well, at least I didn't say Idaho, which I really hope isn't the one I'm thinking of. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and as always, tune in tomorrow for more GeoGuessr. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.